Hey guys, long time no see, at least for me, because I haven't done like a new video for like two weeks now. And uh, last week I released this hunting video, which for me was more, more than a month ago. So yeah, I'm back and today we will polish a piece with insects. There is some sort of beetle, I have a piece with a beetle, so won't waste any time and let's go to polishing. And this time I'm, I am a lot more excited to polish anything because of that microscope. Because I, afterwards I can expect everything in better detail. So I can't wait. Let's go. Yeah, so this is our piece. Let's inspect it. Let's wait it and let's see. Whoopsie doopsie wrong side, I'm sorry guys. So we have to work with 2.8 grams. Let's see how much we will lose. How much do you think? Not sure what you can see in here, but on top is uh, we can see something like some sort of beetle or whatever. But we will find out only after polishing, I'm guessing as always. The piece looks quite rough, right? Let's see how smooth can we get it. Let's go to work. Yeah, this tip is quite weird after the cowry gum. I haven't uh, changed it signs. But I'm not gonna change it now because I don't need like... Now the surface of this will be a little bit smoother and our piece is quite small so I will leave it. So we don't remove uh, too much, you know, material when we don't need to. I finished, you know, smoothing the surface. It's, it's almost quite smooth. <laughs> I did leave some marks here because the insect is pretty close. So I will proceed manually uh, to polishing, uh, rather pre-polishing. Since uh, the piece is so small, it took me close to no time. Yeah, let's proceed. Now it's quite opaque, nothing to see here. So for pre-polish I'm gonna be using uh, just paper and we'll do it manually, as always I do, because uh, I can't manage to find, uh, you know, grids of, uh, you know, more than 220 for your, my Dremel. 
Yeah, so that's why I still have to do it manually. It would be real nice if I could find tips for Dremel of these sizes. And looks like I'm <laughs> run out of, uh, you know, sandpaper. So instead of 600 grit, I will start from 800. And yeah, let's see where it goes. If I do a good job while Dremeling, then I need less effort while manually sanding it. So this weekend I'm actually planning to go to see the sea. Why this is so weird to pronounce? See the sea. Anyway, I was talking to a um, friend who lives by the sea and he's, uh, you know, catching ember constantly. And I asked him a simple question like, uh, will, be, will there be anything this weekend? And his response was quite positive, you know? <laughs> he said, in your dreams. <laughs> So take from that what you will, but I will still try. Maybe I will get lucky. If not, you know, it's never a miss to just go to the sea. I love the sea. The sea is relaxing. But why did he say that I will catch ember this week only in my dreams? Well, that's because there is no wind this week. No wind means no storm, no storm means no ember. It, that's not enough to have time and, you know, go try to find some <laughs> better conditions are everything in ember hunting. Sad, but it's true. So, the, I finished with 800 grit and 1200 grit. Now we'll do the same with 2000 grit and 2500 grit and we will move to polishing. This black spot is some sort of beetle or a fly. I think it's a fly actually. <laughs> Too bad. But on top, hard to tell what's on top. As you can see, the, already you can see the piece is a lot more shinier. So let's finish it up and look at the things inside through microscope, shall we? And the time has come for the final touch, which is Actually, polishing it with Dremel, let's not polish my fingers, that was wrong button. <laughs> there we go. And there's the piece, it was in the water. And I'm gonna be using scratch remover, uh, scratch remover for, <laughs> you know, glass usually used in the cars, you know, windows and stuff to remove the scratches and I'm using this thing for removing scratch from the piece of amber. Let's apply it and let's get to work. I did finish polishing, now I'm gonna gently wipe it with this thingy and let's inspect it because this is the most exciting moment of the you know, whole process, almost, to see the end result. <laughs> Pretty, right? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now even with the naked eye a lot easier to spot what's inside but it's now too dark to inspect it properly guys. We will move to microscope but it's pretty. <laughs> so let's mount it under the microscope and see. There we go. And what do we have here? Hmm. Always most interesting part. 
it's where to get. Let's see, in the full size at the start. So I can say from the very start the light from the microscope itself is actually not helping. But if I do it like this, there we go. Now it is a lot better. And this is in fact a beetle guys. A beetle. Mm. going to look at the beetle. And let's see how much size did we lose. If I remember it correctly, it was 2.8 grams. And now it is, how much did you think it is? 2.14. So, it's not terrible. Yep. So this little piece is going into my box with polished amber into my private collection. Or maybe, maybe I will sell it, who knows? Probably not, right? <laughs> yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and bye.